Hey what's up everybody, welcome back to Red Dead Online and today I have another amazing money method for you guys. This is actually a follow up video to the one that I've made a few days ago, like last week or so and it's even better than that one. As you can obviously see here on the screen, this spot is absolutely filled with fish and you might be asking yourselves why am I exclusively covering fishing and the reason is quite simple. There are so many fishing spots in the game, it's well quite easy easy to avoid people so like there's enough room for everybody to do this and obviously I find it relaxing I find it fun it's quite easy for me to do it's also very close to the city or well in this case town strawberry is no more than one minute away it's super easy to do and I believe this is like one of the best places to do this thing specifically because there's not just one spot where you can do this around the lake area but some of them are better than others and I'm going to cover everything that you need to know about that in this video. I'm also going to answer a few of the questions that I've seen being raised on the previous video and I'm specifically going to start things off with the wagon acquisition. I saw a lot of people having problem with this one and I said it in the previous video, I'm going to reiterate it. They spawn randomly in the town of Strawberry. If you don't see them being spawned near you, just head outside of the town, come back in, circle around a little bit and they eventually will make the your way in the town. Nonetheless, I've grabbed this one and I'm going to head back at the area I was talking about, except this time around we're not going to head over to the waterfall, there are a few places that are much better than that. So on the way there, what we want to do is before heading down on the lake, is first head up on the right side in the forest area and here is where you'll find an abundance of creatures, specifically deer because they are the easiest one to grab. So yeah, this is the second question that I've answered that has been asked on the previous video so now I hope everything is clarified. Now in terms of doing this trick it's quite simple we're going to use the carcass in order to attract the fish and you're probably already familiar with this method. It's quite simple but what you will want to do first before doing any of that is go with the cart in this very spot over here because it's very good to position yourself and then bring in the fish on it and what you will want to do is head over to this nice little rock formation over here, this bump in the lake that you can see and what I'm aiming here for is to arrange the body in such a way that half of it is going to be in the water so that it attracts the fish. One thing I do not suggest anybody doing when here is pulling out their fishing rod. That does indeed make fish spawn but it will make it so that they don't get attracted to the carcass itself. Instead what I suggest you guys doing is simply not pull out your rod at all. As you can see here the fish are in a great abundance regardless of me pulling out my fishing rod. The lake is pretty much filled with fish anyway so don't even think about it. But once that is done and once you put the carcass over there as you can see I've arranged it here a little bit because the first area worked but it didn't work as much as I pleased so I rearranged it so that the carcass faces south I believe in this image and nonetheless after like 10 minutes I believe or 15 minutes this is the amount of fish that I was able to get. This is the total amount of fish that I was able to get. It's a ton of it but of course I was lucky in this case. This is probably the maximum amount you're ever going to see. Of course you can get a lot of it but this was probably one of my best runs in the game. Also probably because it started raining and because I didn't use my fishing rod in here but if you're using your fishing rod it's going to be really really bad. Once that is done and once you have acquired all of the fish, once you've got all of the small ones and there's going to be a lot of bluegill, a lot of pickerel, even smallmouth bass as well as sockeye salmon so in total at least three or four types, then you're going to want to bring in the big guys which are the muskies and put them on the shorelines. I advise you not going too far away from this area because they will despawn. So this is your disclaimer. Just take them, put them down one by one and then try to carry them over to your horse. Of course you can also use these shorelines over here if you want to, it's not really a big deal but in this run this is what I've tested, it worked, I started cautiously and then I moved on to bigger things. But yeah, once I took all of these five fish, I've put them here and then I've transported 
putting them all the way back to the area I have my wagon on. Now what I recommend for you guys to do is not get more than 5 fish at the same time because they tend to bug out. Even the physics engine kind of starts acting up and it's kind of annoying. They can also despawn obviously so at most I would put 5 on them. You can even go with 6 or maybe 7 but I wouldn't risk it because it's pretty much going to invalidate your entire run and it kind of sucks. And the reason I've picked this place is as you will see in just a second is because it's so easy to drop them in without having them clip out, without having you falling. You're just going to go here, right down, slide a little bit and then just press square and that's basically it. It's instant and this is number 5 by the way. This is musky number 5 and I think I'm done with this one. I don't want to risk getting any more than this. You can take or you can leave your carcass behind. Honestly, in my case, I just left it behind because I didn't care about it. And the way over there is not going to be that big of a deal. Since the wagon itself is boxed, the fish is not going to fall off of it. I was even able to go over all of the bumps and basically ran at maximum speed and none of the fish fell off. And once you're there, here is where you'll want to be very, very careful because here is where your entire loot can, well, disappear. What I would suggest you guys do it, contrary to what you're seeing right Right now on the screen is not take each fish one by one and sell it but instead first unload the entire stash like take all of the fish put them on the ground first and only then do the selling in this footage what I did because I wanted to test things out was I sold them one by one as I was grabbing them of course that was a little bit of a mistake on my part because that could have made things despawn and that is seven dollars and twenty five cents for each of these fish that is quite good so if I were to make a small calculation, I think we have 5 by 7, that is like 35, plus the rest of the fish that I was able to get in this run, which in this case wasn't really that much, I didn't go for the full stacks, but I believe it was quite significant. I mean, if you look here, we have all of the other fish, which cost like 6 bucks, 10 bucks, and all of that, so all in all, it was quite a productive run, this was a very good run, and it was only one of the areas that I was using. Now, another very good place that you could use, and I have had great success with it is right here on this part of the map on this small peninsula right here right by this rock and if you want some points of interest to see them in your game it's basically this rock over here and that little point of vegetation you can see coming out of the water so obviously what you want to do here is simply set the deer over there there's shallow waters over there even though they might be hard to see and wait for like a couple of minutes at most and I found this place to be very good to fish out the muskies there's a spot over here that spawns quite easily and they tend to spawn really fast and as I was saying look at this guy he's coming in super fast he's making his way in and yeah there you go he's going to pretty much fall out the water and you'll be able to grab him and oh my god there's a second one coming in actually there's a lot of them coming in you're going to see much more than that I think you can even grab five of these quite fast and it doesn't take more than five minutes to grab five of these but unfortunately the smaller fish don't well typically come in too much I've also killed a bear nearby because he was like kind of startling my horse so it's most probably affecting the spawn rate because that one is also attracting some fish but even so look at all of these fish that are coming in look at all of these muskies that are coming in and this is just me talking for like two minutes and three muskies just came in that is $21 at least there's also a smallmouth bass making its way in but as I've said they don't tend to fall out for some reason I think the waters aren't really that shallow for them but for the big guys they definitely work yeah as I was saying look at that the bear corpse is still attracting fish in this area and I was still able to get the big ones over there obviously you'll want to do a combination between these two you will want to get the big ones as well as the small ones which is why I recommend the first two areas I just showed you and if you really want to like stretch it out in case you find somebody else doing their stuff here as well there is a final spot that I'm going to show you and there's this small little pond right here it doesn't have any access to the rest of the lake but it still does a great job at attracting the fish and they will attempt to go over actual terrain they will not be able to do so you'll be able to pick them up but in this case I haven't had that much success with it as I did with the previous two methods which is why 
why I've only recommended the first two. And that pretty much sums up today's video guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Also leave a thumbs up on it, subscribe to the channel as well. I would appreciate the heck out of you if you did that and I'll see you guys in the next one. So peace out.